So it's holiday time in the summer. A lot of people have been asking what to do about their fish when they go away. I'd say generally if your tank isn't overloaded to the point where the fish are going to be eating each other if they don't get fed, then a week or so, uh, maybe more, your tank may be okay without even being fed. Some people use the automatic feeder blocks uh, that dissolve over time and that's not something that I prefer. I like to use an automatic feeder. There's two different kinds here and two styles, so three in total. This is the oldest one. It's a Neheim. It's an analog setting where you put the pins in the end and you set it that way. And how, however many feedings you want in a day, take the barrel out, feed the canister, this one's a little bit finicky because you got to get the slot in the back lined up. And if not, if it's not spinning freely like that, it's not working. So it's a little bit finicky to set up, but I like that it still works after all these years. This is the new style Eheim. It's digital. You set the amount of feed times you want in the day and the number of spins each time and there's the setting for the amount of food. It operates on battery and the nice feature about this is it has a fan in it so it dries the food. If there's any moisture in there it won't promote clumping of the food with the moisture. So that's the new Eheim and then this is the Rena. It's got the biggest barrel of them. Uh, holds the most amount of food but the neat thing about this one is it runs on power from the wall as well and instead of having a fan this one actually has a heater built into it so it again will uh, keep the food dry and it won't clump. This, the setting on this one is a little bit unusual um, <clears throat> you actually set the number of times that it feeds over that period of over that day and it has a light sensor so that it won't feed during the night uh, so it's a little bit less precise in the settings than this Eheim right here. Um, filling them up quick and easy, the barrel comes off. You want to close the food slot, open the lid. Generally use a container like this. Pour in the flake food, make sure there's no big uh, flakes that are going to plug the entrance. And you don't want to pack it in there really tight, make sure it's loose and fluffy. And then set the feed amount, however much. The, the more open it is, the more food that comes out. We'll test it now just to see how much is coming out. So that's about right. And again, if uh, your tank's not overloaded and your fish aren't vicious and eating each other, then you may get away for a week without it. But uh, if you're going to go for a couple of weeks and maybe your fish are a little more aggressive, then this is one way that I like to keep uh, my tanks fed when I'm not going to be around. So I suggest uh, whatever method you decide, whether it be not feeding or going with one of the dissolvable blocks or even with an automatic feeder. I suggest that you try it out before you go away to make sure everything's working. This one here I put on the front. And this way it's mounted, it's not in the way of the light that's in behind it. And I can also get inside the tank, open the lid without disturbing the auto feeder. Make sure that's about the right amount of food that I want and the number of times per day. And I don't have to worry about these guys for a while.